Hey guys, what's up? Welcome you in Core Java interview question and answer. In this video tutorial, we are going to talk about the one of the very very important Core Java interview question. And question is that what are the new features added in Java 8 or JDK 1.8? Guys, there are a huge list of uh, features uh, have been added in JDK 1.8. I have a consolidated list uh, of those features uh, basically and here i am going to uh, uh, i am going to talk about the all the most of the important feature added in jdk 1.8 or java 8 because when you go for interview then the interviewer might ask you to uh, basically tell the list of the feature added in jdk 1.8 uh, here one thing i would like to make it clear i am not gonna uh, basically dig or uh, we are not going to look example for each and every points but it's a consolidated list which will give you the high level insight what are the features have been added in JDK 1.8 or Java 8. So here you can see the list of features I basically have been added in JDK 1.8 or Java 8. So let's start with the first feature. So as you know in from Java 8 onwards we can define methods in uh, basically interface itself right and that is called default method because we, because uh, these are why this is called default method because uh, this uh, method signature itself you need to specify a keyword default and whoever class implements those methods uh, they have uh, ability to access those methods right so default methods enable you enable new functionality to be added in to the interfaces of the libraries and ensure binary compatibility with code written for older version of those interfaces right so that also takes care about the compatibility uh, code written for the older version of those interfaces that's the beauty now uh, next feature uh, that is called basically uh, a new class have been added in jdk 1.8 that is called stamp lock so if you go to the java.util.concurrent.locks package you'll get this class so this class is basically uses for optim optimistic locking uh, in code using uh, stamp lock provides very lightweight synchronization yeah so i have a separate video video tutorial i had uploaded uh, uh, on kk java tutorial so if you go and search then you'll get a separate video tutorial on this topic on the kk java tutorials not on the only stamp duty stamp block but all the all the individual points what we are looking in this slide i have a separate video tutorials on kk java tutorials so go and watch now next point uh, when uh, we are talking then we we'll, would like to talk about the package is called java.util.concurrent.atomic package right so this package uh, uh, came up with a lot of classes like uh, concurrent adders and accumulator classes like uh, double adder double accumulator long adder long accumulator so basically these classes gives you uh, basically facility to work with the uh, like uh, data type like double long uh, in the efficient uh, manner right so that's the that's all and uh, that that's basically concurrent package so these classes are thread safe as well now next uh, when we talk about the array parallel sorting api so if you go to java.util.arrays class then you'll get the uh, basically lot of sorting basically api have been added in jdk 1.8 parallel sorting right so here you can make use of the parallel processing right you have a huge amount of data and that you want to sort then you can make use of the parallel processing in that way performance of your application will be improved now next thing we would like to talk java 8 has added uh, basically one new package is called java.time and in that package uh, java has added a lot of uh, complete new data api classes like local date local time local date time and many more classes uh, and these classes basically helps us to deal with the uh, date and time right and uh, beauty of these classes are these all classes uh, belongs to this package are thread safe uh, or immutable you can say if those classes are immutable means those classes are also thread safe now next point we would like to talk uh, functional interfaces and lambda expression right if you look into the package like java.util.function so this uh, package is having a, a penalty of uh, basically functional interfaces uh, functional interfaces are in, uh, those interfaces which is having only one abstract method right uh, so if in this package if you go then you get a lot of uh, basically functional interfaces like func function predicate consumer and many more 
functional interfaces so if interface is functional then you can make use of the lambda expression so uh, this is the one of the package uh, which is uh, i have highlighted over here it's not mean that uh, functional interfaces is only belongs to the java dot it dot functional interfaces in other interfaces also we have a functional interfaces like uh, java dot lang you have a class is called runnable right uh, so runnable is having only one uh, method so you can consider as a functional interface as well so in some other interface also you have a uh, functional interfaces so wherever you get the one method in any functional any interface that uh, fun uh, that um, uh, that interface is considered as a functional interface and you can write lambda expression for that now next we would like to talk about the uh, stream api in collection uh, collection uh, uh, interfaces right so if you look into the all the classes it belongs to the collection right uh, and interfaces right like list uh, set map uh, uh, actually enhanced with a lot of uh, basically uh, pa parallel processing uh, met uh, methods right so stream api in so stream api in collection enables bulk operations such as sequential and parallel map reduce functions right now stream api is the one of the uh, basically uh, most important feature uh, basically added in jdk 1.8 or java here, which deals with the bulk operation yeah so now next point uh, we would like to talk about the improvements in concurrent hash map so concurrent hash map hash map uh, there are some enhancement in the jdk 1.8 uh, and uh, those enhancement basically uh, in those enhancement basically uh, J, uh, came up with the uh, few methods uh, which deals with the atomic as well as bulk operation so you can uh, go into that class you can explore what are the methods have been added in jdk 1.8 now next features we would like to talk about the new classes added in java.util.concurrent.atomic package uh, to support scalable and updatable variables yeah so if you look into the atomic package then you have a lot of atomic uh, basically uh, classes like atomic integer atomic long so these classes have been uh, basically updated right uh, uh, to tackle with a lot of uh, basically scalable and updatable variables now last but not the least we have a param gen space uh, removal in jdk 1.8 so jdk prior to jdk 1.8 we had param gen uh, and basically uh, when you run your application then uh, metadata of classes basically loads into the paramgen space now from java 1.8 or uh, jdk 1.8 or java 8 onwards there is no paramgen that has been removed and instead of paramgen we have a meta space so you might have heard about the java dot lang dot out of memory paramgen space error right when uh, we were dealing with the till jdk 1.7 so there was some constraint so if uh, uh, your uh, application startup time if your param gen space uh, is uh, uh, not uh, not accommodating all the metadata then you might face this error but uh, java 8 onwards we have a meta space and which is much more flexible which takes memory from the directly from the your ram and try to avoid the uh, out of memory space as, as much as possible so guys these are the basically java uh, 8 uh, uh, features basically available in uh, available uh, yeah, from the java 8 onwards these are the enhancement happen enhancement as well as uh, some uh, up updation new updation have been added in the jdk 1.8 of java 8 so if you go for interview then you should keep in all these points and you, if you explain these all points then uh, definitely in in interview will be, will be so happy so that's all i have in this video tutorial guys uh, thank you so much for watching this video and if you want to learn java in much more detail then you can refer our website uh, www.gkjavatutorials.com thank you